Not the verdict. It's not that bad. I'm not, huh? I'm not sure. I don't know how it all mental how it all meant to work. Well that looks twisted from how we had it, see there? I like that black one with the yellow brakes. Yeah, me too. They build a fish cleaning table on Australia's most polluted yeah. creek. Just get strong, it? Just put the in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Alright, it's taken us three hours to get here. <laughs> it didn't bother me though because uh, we got running tide all day. The tide's getting better. This is Calabash Bay coming through here. And those rock walls along there on the running tide all the way through, point to point. It's really good fishing. I noticed on the turn of the tide every day this week, the wind blows up. So I'd say like probably about that hour before the high and the hour after the high, it's gonna go nuts. All we can do now is just find where the fish are holding. Dagnabbit, that can't eat them that size. <laughs> Game on. Hard, oh, didn't it? What? Oh, you went like a train, that thing. I'm just going to do a loop because that, that timber will spread us out and we'll roll back in and try and get. Look, what, what happens here? No brim behind us now, all brim are in front. Yeah. So, what I'll do, go up here, turn around, and start drifting back down, and you should get this school over and over. God, he, he fought a lot harder than he is. Yeah, he went hard, man. Oh, you're right here, keep cutting. <laughs> yeah, take the front bench. Just, what you want to do is do a loop, turn around, and drip back in. Now, I'm going to put, I'm going to well these girls. This has been a while since I've ran the well. Just gonna... Yep, she's gone. This one? It's a pretty good brim. Just. Oh, yeah. It's actually on the outside too, the hook's a little bit big, so I was lucky to have got him. Oh, it looks like we're going to have a pretty good day, eh? That's it, just settle down. No, don't even do anything, just let it drift. Because what happens is like we corral them. <coughs> the fish will um, keep moving down there. I found this spot on, uh, I fish in here all the time, but I never fish this side. This bay's really crap. Yeah. And one day I was looking up Google Maps and I just seen about this 50 yards here that's a lot deeper than the rest of it. And I went over here and caught a kilo brim first time and it's been like that ever since. I Just this 50 yard to that rock over there. Away again. The best thing about that, that, that guy was right up hard on the rock, so that they must be wanting to feed on that. Mm, on that rock? Yeah, they're chasing. 
Yeah, they're after crabs. That's what I mean, they, they could be 10 fish in that timber there. Don't pick that one here. Anything, give it a go. Well, this just gulp they smacked, so. Oh, there's another one. Missed him. Such a productive way to fish, it's very hard. There's definitely a fish in our keep. It's very hard not to use this. Just the fact that I'll roll around all the rocks without losing it. Getting over that fish. Was not expecting that. It's funny because I pulled up the catcher brim there but wasn't expecting the catcher brim there. Yeah. Don't forget your back angles too, man, because some. Um, like with, that's one, two, three. You got a tap. We've had three fish drawn from there to here. Because as soon as you can catch one, it'll, it'll push them in front of us again. When I say it's a crab bite, that means they're feeding on crabs, and that means they're looking at the wall. They're not looking at us. They're looking at the wall. So the real key to a crab bite is like you got to land within an inch off that bank. <laughs> but did you see how you actually landed like on the bank in the crap? Once you got it out of that crap, that was the bite. That's that's exactly what a crab bite is. Well, the like, funniest thing was I actually got snagged. Yeah, that's, it off the bunk. that's what I'm saying. And there, Vincey's on. This is a better one. I can smoke. No, he's not. He's a nice fish. Going well. I know, oh, no, you got to work on the bips. Rules today, no net, so you gotta. Oh, I had one too. I was watching Vince and got whacked. He's alright? He's alright. 26 man. Oh no, fuck, he's bigger than a 41. You are. I'll bring him up so I can keep fishing and filming. Be another 30. Just throw him in the boat. Have you? Give me a look. Get it on film. Oh, yeah, he has too. Look at that right in his finger. Your pliers? Just rip it out. No, just there. Easy. Throw him in the well. Now you had a mate. Noise. Alright. Well we got a pattern now, so I'm just gonna go and do a few racks. I'm gonna try actually try and get a, a flathead as we're going across. Mm, too small. I think they're hitting that nuclear chicken harder than the red. <laughs> Don't let them run too much <laughs> out here. So these are good fish. Oh, we got to turn it. We're on the school, so we got to not go forward. See our circle around here. We'll go back to that. Probably drive us back to that bowl there and start again. Shaping up a nice bag of fish. And yeah, look at that. There's the sort of brim I like to catch. Now he didn't give half the fight of the other one, eh? No, he's bigger than the other one. But see how I got, look, because I changed that hook size, see how I got the really good hook up there. And a couple of times I've thought I've got, like, grabbed rock or whatever. Um, I've noticed that the actual fish, I just sat there and shook after I felt that rocky sort of feel and I just shook it. And, uh,. Up she come. Is 
that trap empty? Yeah. Well, you wouldn't believe it. I just got a cracking brim just under there. He must have been heading towards your trap. We go get any brim. Do you? Yeah. What are you going for? More crabs. Yeah, Muddies. Muddies. Yeah. You getting many yet? Uh, well, I think they're in the hibernation mode. Yeah. They've yeah. been a few, a couple of weeks before. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, good luck anyway, fellas. Oh, I thought they were brim traps. Uh, they're only uh, probably muddies. Oh, another one in there, Vince. Straight in there, same tree. Same tree, look, I missed him. Dag nabbit. On, um, on Queen. I didn't see the movie, though. Oh, that's released at the cinemas, isn't it? Oh, you went to the movie movies. Got rails just there. They hug the timber, Roger. They, what they do is you got to find these old sticks. They all run this way. Basically, you just want to roll over them. So there's another set of rails coming up here. The way they they were following me up that last car, so I wouldn't mind betting if they are hard body active. another set of rails there and then there's another set here Oops. oh that was one take it oh it snapped off straight away <laughs> you don't love that eh <laughs> Dolt. Oh no, they're here now. Damn. Need another worm hook. Oh, hey, it, it, it's tons of room there. Yeah, I'm going to go to these edges here, fish my way in. Oh, I, I did a whole lot. That's what I mean. It, it, probably three hours in there. There's a ton of water in there. All right, man. See ya. This is basically no now, shadows. That's the one I got? Yeah. Uh, where do those plasties go? Actually, where'd my shoes go? Yeah. I just want to put my shoes on first. This deck's burning. There's a reason why you need carpet. <laughs> Well, that didn't take like what, a couple of minutes on the bank, and we got one. So we're gonna have fun. See, they're running everywhere. Those crab boys, eh? Spots like this is where the shadows don't matter. See that, that rocky out point on the points? When the tide starts to really run, they'll sit hard against those rocks. And they'll sit under all this mangrove. There's one in there too, shadow again. Make sure you both hit that shadow. See how the current sort of kicks us a bit here, so. Get him? He was in there though, eh? Yep. Your turn, Roger. But weird, all the water's dirty, but nearly every uh, shadow's holding fish. And they're not on the outer edge, you've got to get it right in there. Like, I'm not getting anything going on the front of the... Oh, there you go. There you go. I told you, fish. Well done, Roger. Nice. Took three of us to get that one fish. 
No, you ain't bad, right? He's good, one. No one for the well. Oh. Sorry, mate, I'm just filming Roger. Nice. New lure. Oh, jeez. <laughs> mate, he was just... That, I just thought I'd bugger, I put the squidgy, uh, little squidgy flick bait on. And he just hit that on the drop. So, I got myself a new lure to play with. My biggest problem was looking for a lure with colour, like the, the matches, like not match this water. Yeah. So I found that like purpley green squidgy. Smack the camera. Come on. Open that well up, Roger. There's some chunks in there. Alright. Just clean the camera away. Yeah, class distinction. They think that the fish in here are of a lower class than them out in the main river. Well, I just rigged it up weedless, just a little flick bait, and that was one bite, one fish. So, was the first cast on it? Yeah, second, second cast. So I'm sort of pretty happy with that because it's. I think the the, the the flick and lock, flick, 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 and then the drop is what's triggered it. Yeah, I just put all in there. City feet. It's a nice brim in there, man. I knew it was there. Hey? Yeah, I told you it was there. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little net. Yeah. Yeah, they're all like that. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. What are you doing, Freddy Eggs? Home alone, are you? See that? I'm up, that's getting blocked, that pump, so I'll have to uh, sort that out. That's about as much washing as you'll ever see me do. 